Okay, hello Internet. Welcome to some more Walkabout Mini Golf VR. I uh, did take a break, had some dinner, picked up the last of the lost balls, so I got them all out of 18, or uh, out of the new course now. So let's head on over to the hard course. Or 60? I have not found any of the, uh, I haven't done any of the fox hunt yet, we'll do that together. Let's go. Okay, so how do we want to do this? Do we want to play through it? And then do the fox hunt? I think let's play through it and then do the fox hunts. Okay. So what do we got here? Par four. The flag is way over there. Oh my. All right. So I guess the idea here. I'm gonna have to hit it pretty hard. Hopefully get it to bounce off of here and head that direction. too hard. Are you going to stop or are we actually playing from there? Okay. Ah, still too hard. Come on. Reset. Time out. Thank you. Oh, crap. <laughs> this is not going well. Um, hmm. I mean, there might be a little bit of outside-the-box thinking we could do. What if we did... What if we went that way instead? See what, no, I mean... What the hell, whatever. Nope, that's not going to do anything good. Not, uh, not with that speed. Unless it's going to... You know what? Hold the grip. See if it's gonna roll all the way down. It might, could. Yeah, that's probably what I should have done the first try. Roll all the way down. Oh, all detected. Bother. Go anywhere good here? Maybe. Probably not, though. No, nope, that's stuck. Well, this isn't going well. I have just done that the first time, I suppose. All right. Um. Yeah, so it's just a stroke out. Damn, I didn't even get to finish the first hole. Mm. Hard course is hard, imagine that. Come on. Oh, it's gonna let me redo that stroke. Whoopsie. Woohoo! Uh, yeah, whatever. Yep. Yeah. That's not going anywhere good. Stroke limit reached. Okay. Well then. What? Really? Got to do some mountain climbing here. Oh, almost. Almost, but not quite. A little harder. Come on, time out. Yeah, I can see that being an issue on this course. That got me up there. I gone up the dune. Ah. I mean, I'm, I have no illusions of getting a, even a decent score on this after that uh, stroke out on the first damn hole. 
All right, so we're gonna have to hop some dunes to get there. Okay. Oh, that's a. Don't want to go too far. We'll go out. We'll go out. R three. Alright, what have we got here? Hmm. Okay, so I think about all I can do is just hit it pretty hard and hope for the best. Oh. Hmm. Let's see what happens if we bounce it off of that. Or we could miss that. We're still in play. But really not where I want to be. Um, yeah. Well, that went damn near straight up. This is a par four. Miraculously, I may be able to make par. Barely. Oh. Whoa, me down. Hmm. Yeah, I think we still want to try to go down the middle, but... hoping it would go down that direction, but oh well. What's this, a free? Ugh. Yuck. This is a hard one. It's a very hard course. It's gonna definitely take a lot of work to get a decent score out of this. a little harder. Nope. Too hard. Oh, that might have come back in. Oh, well. This is going to be another one of a stroke out before I get there. Ooh, that would have been awesome. Yuck. <laughs> yuck, 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 yuck. I do not like this already. Come on. Get what I'm shooting for, not what I want oh, not what I actually do. Go where I want you to, not where I tell you to. Ah. That's a good idea. Execute properly. Ah, uh, come on. Oh, stay out of there. Shit. 
And while I could, go right back up that, I'm sure. Way too easy to go too hard. Ah, fuck it. Pardon my French. But that was going to be a stroke out. Again. All right, now what do we got? Where the, oh, goodness. Down, sat on a bench. That's better. Oh, what the hell? Okay. Okay, so we got some tourist trap action going on. You gotta hit it just right. I think I see what you're supposed to. You can't go through the front door, so you gotta go around. Ah. Just clip that just barely. Maybe we can squeak in from the side here. Oh, that was almost awesome. What? What? Good night. Oh, that's not bad. That's actually a great shot. Right on. Definitely take a hole in one. Of course, the problem with a hole in one on the first time you play a hole is it gives you a false sense of security of how, how easy the hole actually is. Alright. Yeah, we could go for the straight shot at just the right speed will get me in there but super risky well I'm not getting a good score I might as well try oh almost I hit the cup just hit it a little too hard and at least I stayed up here didn't go all the way down ow kitty cat meow meow Oh dear. Oh dear, 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 dear. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. okay. Set it down this side, see what we get. Almost. That was almost awesome. Um, oh, crap. Too hard. Ah, man. Hard three, my ass. That's a rough one. What now? Okay. All right, so we gotta get... in the right direction. Um, that's good. Okay, hard. Oh, 
Oh dear. Oh dear, dear, dear. Okay, well at least this has a bit of a lip around it, so if you get it up there, you're staying up. straight shot would have gone right in, but save the bird. 16. Oh, we gotta go through the eye of forest here. Okay, so we want to get that direction, and then we can go through there. I'm not really seeing a good place to pop it up or nothing. Or, oh yeah, because we could try to sneak it through there. Yeah. We'll see what we get. Or we can miss entirely. That's even better. Ah. Not the death rattle. There we go. What's that going to be? Par? Oh, wow. <laughs> Ten over. Is that... I think that's water. I'm gonna have to give that a good hard smack. Get all the way down there. Oh, that's a hill. Oh, I should have hit that harder. It's not going to go in, but at least I'm up the hill. Alright. Okay, and off the 18 we go. Alright, let's, let's scout around on this one a little bit. I think we can just go straight through there. Oh, wow. Oh, that's evil. We have to weigh our soul. It weighs more than a feather. We're, we're boned. All right. Well, down we go. Let me in the neighborhood. Time it correctly. All right, let's wait for the next one to come around. Back to the next cycle. Oh, harder. That's what she said. Damn. Go. Oh, geez. Well, <laughs> 11 over, that's not great. Well, let's go ahead and do the, uh, see if we can do that fox hunt. So usually, the first clue is, oh, interesting. Okay. Welcome to the Duat Traveler. Start your journey into the second life by protecting your name. Find the hidden cartouche symbol in the alcove behind you. In this world, there are hidden symbols that can only be revealed by pointing at them. Oh dear. Okay. Ah, oh, there it is. 
The heart is the most precious possession you'll ever have in the final judgment, and it must be weighed against a feather and be found lighter. Find your heart symbol somewhere on the obelisk. This obelisk, perhaps? Yep, there it is. One of eight giant virus columns is still being constructed. On it, find the Jed, symbol of stability, backbone of Great Osiris. Okay, so there was construction going on here. Is this what we're talking about? Yeah. One of the kind of columns is still on it, find the Jed. Okay. It's on this column, I'm sh I'd imagine it. There it is. I'll turn around so I can actually see it. Another of these columns has been visited by a cat, favorite of Bastet. Follow the paw prints. Oh, there were paw prints. Back on that first one. I noticed some paw prints that we've uh, showed themselves. Another set of paw prints? That didn't seem to lead to anything. Is there a set of paw prints around here? Or do we need to go... Another cat column has been visited by a cat here to Bastet. Follow the paw prints. This is where we found the last one. Another of these columns, which I would take to mean these columns here. Oh, conference. looking promising, but then the paw prints went away.
footprints back to where they came from. to get to these. to follow the paw prints, right? Another of these columns has been visited by a cat favorite of Bastet. Follow the paw prints. Following paw prints, following the paw prints. Then the paw prints stop. Oh wait, they, they pick up again, okay. Paw prints, paw prints. Ah, oh, there we are. Of course it's the throne, that's for cats. You know, cats are queens. Of course the cat has designs on the throne. The lowly dung -dung beetle has no such pretenses, though. With enough time, it's the beetle who would remake the world. At the foot of the stairs between scoop and scare beetles, find this symbol of transformation. There's between two scarabs. Let's see here. Where would we find some stairs with scarabs? No scarabs over here. All right, where where else are we finding stairs? Oh, I see scarabs. Lotus are the white flowers that float upon the water. They symbolize rebirth. You can see one nearby. Find a hidden lotus next to another of these flowers. These are the lotus flowers on these leaves. These oh, bad, really bad things.
Someplace report. You can see one nearby. Find a hidden lotus next to another of these flowers. Hmm. I suppose there are lotus flowers elsewhere in the, on, the, on the course, besides in these ponds. I'm sure this is getting really boring for anybody watching this video. Watch me flounder around. Oh, yeah, yeah. Lotuses, lotuses. Don't make me go to the guides again. I had to go to the guides to find the last lost balls. I don't have to go to the guides for this. I'm going to figure these clues out on my own if I can. Not that that's going to help me. Thank you. 
do I admit defeat? Yeah, it does look a lot like the symbol that I'm looking for. Check each of these obelisks again. set beneath the scarab. Hidden in this room is, there, is the only one eye of Ra, who is the sun. Horus is said to the moon, the left eye of Ra is then the right. Alright, well that was this over here. Oh, there it is. I think. Yep. In the daytime, there was a room centered on the Ankh, symbol of life. A mortal will find the hidden Ankh in that room. Oh, we Which horse, which hole was that? This one got a lot of onks in here. Yeah, I sat down there again. Where I. I'd have to look at the easy course again, I guess, but. Is it this one? <laughs> Mousy. Cat toys. Alright, um... Not very hidden. So when it says this in the day in the daytime, it was this, it's referring to the easy course. Which you know what? Let's take a quick detour back to the main menu, back to the easy course, and see what the hell it's talking about. I can do this. Alright, so let's see here. Now where was the Ankh? Which pole was that on? Six, not eight, not nine, not ten, not eleven. Oh, okay, so it's all twelve. All twelve we need to go back to, okay. 
So back to the main menu. Going practice mode on the hard course. But a whole 12. Okay, so what was the one, the one with the cats? Now, in the daytime, there was room of this. The, find the hidden Ankh in that room. Two paw prints. The Ankh was here, or ish. Could be around here. I would think. I mean, that's not a hidden Ankh. That's. That wasn't very hidden. Sheesh. This is the Amenta, two vertical lines against the setting sun, which symbolizes the underworld. Many have wandered the desert for an eternity, squinting into the sun, trying to find their way. What? I'm gonna guess that's up my the first and second hole. Oh, you know what? Those palm trees look kind of suspicious. What if we... Maybe, or maybe it's down over there. Die! No, there's, there's no way. I mean, we'll look. We will look, but I highly doubt it's gonna be this far away. Oh, what do you know? Well done, all gates are passed now. The time for final judgment has, has come. Anubis the Jackal presides over the scales. Oh, my heart, do not make a case against me. All right, so let's go back to 18. Still triumphs, but you've, you've been judged worthy, but there's still a matter of passage across the lake to the field of reeds. Go to the ferry waiting for you at the dock and find this symbol to pay respect to your ferry. Thank you for the ferry. Alright, so that, let's see, we've got an eight ish, this general area. And there we go! We got the club. Congratulations, you've proven yourself pious, clever, kind, and brave, worthy of golfing beside the gods in the heavens forever. Take the sacred color of Isis and be reborn! Huh. That's not bad. I kind of like. I think I'll keep using the uh, the devastation club, but well, that's finally done. How the hell long did it take? Just tell me anywhere in uh, OBS. Let me tell me how long. Forty-three minutes of recording time. Whoop. Okay, yeah. I hope that wasn't too terribly boring for you. So that's the uh, that's the fox hunt. That's the hard course. Hard course is hard. Imagine that. Definitely gonna have to do some practice on both the easy and the hard course. Get the get the hang of this whole thing. Uh, I want to confirm. That's not wasn't 16. It was 17. This is probably water. Yep, that's water. Oh. Oh, that's way off. Let's try. Okay, let's keep it straight. Right on. That was a good one. All right. Yeah. So there. Honestly, I don't suck that much at this game. It's just this is the first time playing a, a really freaking hard course. But uh, yeah, that's that's the game. That is the name of the game. Well, the name of the game is Walkabout Mini Golf, technically. But alrighty. So that's gonna do it for uh, for this one. Definitely gonna have to go back in there and do some practice, but I'll do that off camera, because I'm sure that's not going to be terribly entertaining for anybody. Alright, so thank you very much for watching. New putter unlocked. My glorious collection of putters. Let's go back to the uh, Tethys Station putter. That is my preferred. Then we got, you know, the, the vanilla ones, uh, Tourist Trap, Cherry Blossom, uh, Brain Fart, of course I hate. Seagull Stacks, Arizona Modern, Original Gothic, Tethys Station, Bogey's Bonanza, Quixote Valley, Babylon, uh, Shangri-La, Stopia, 
uh, El Dorado missed, no, not missed. I can, I can bring uh, Labyrinth, the other, the other license course. Uh, Twenty thousand leagues. These three are for missed. Um, Atlantis, upside town, and now the temple has Zerzura. Zerzura. That's gonna take a while to remember that name. Alrighty, so uh, thanks for watching. Hope you had a good one. Hope I wasn't too terribly boring. I'm sure I was. There was a lot, a lot of silence as I was scratching my head, figuratively, obviously, because you didn't see any action scratching. But anyway, uh, that'll do it for this one. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves and enjoy the games that you play. See you later.